Hi! In this short video, we'll show you some of the new features of LoadRunner Cloud 2022.03. First, a new navigation menu in the main banner gives you access to useful links and resources from wherever you are in LoadRunner Cloud. You can search the LoadRunner Cloud Help Center. You can open a support ticket, access the tenant management area, view notifications and downloads, and you can also access LoadRunner Cloud's tools for scripting, CI plugins, agents, and more. When you add a JMeter script that contains more than one enabled thread group to a load test, LoadRunner Cloud creates a separate script for each thread group. Next, you can reload a script from a Git repository, even if it was originally loaded from the file system. Moving on, DevWeb scripts now support the option to use the pacing configured in runtime settings. For LoadRunner scripts, a new option lets you restart vUsers that failed during the initial test run. You can now assign multiple data files to a single script. The default number you can assign is 5. You can now zoom to a specific time frame in the transaction summary table by shrinking, dragging or stretching the time slider. You can also do this by manually changing the start and end time counters located above the table. Another new feature lets you track the changes made to a load test's configuration. You can now use the new Refresh button to view the connectivity status of an on-premises load generator. This is done after updating the load generator's configuration settings. And finally, the Summary tab of the License area now also shows your dedicated IP entitlements. Check out the Help Center to learn more about these and other features and enjoy the new LoadRunner Cloud release. Thank you.